Nine tips to help parents of athletes turn back to school sports anxiety into calmness and confidence, says Todd Stavka, academic performance expert. It's back to school time around the world, and our young athletes are getting anxious, nervous, and possibly making themselves sick, says Todd Stavka, academic performance expert. Why does this happen? Commonly, there is a mental picture being formed in a young athlete's mind. That picture could be one of many things, especially if they're new to a school, such as anxiety over performance, feeling awkward because they're not the biggest or best on the team, fear of rejection or ridicule by more talented members of the team, being sensitive to criticism and not fitting in, and so much more. Commonly, We are asked if these behaviors are just a state of mind. Typically, our question to them is, is that thought really true? A high probability of the time when children, and adults for that matter, use their imagination, they imagine something bad or miserable happening instead of something good and wonderful happening. This is more than just positive thinking. It's desired results thinking. A wise man once said, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Today, this is commonly experienced as thoughts becoming things. If I think I will be nervous, then my mind, the unconscious part of my mind, tends to look for those things that would cause me to feel nervous. Then we can say, see, I told you so. The question are, Is that really what we want? That question is, is that really what we want? Do you really want to be rejected, sensitive to criticism, feeling ostracized? Or would you rather fit in, having friends, be calm, have confidence, and so much more? This part of your brain decides which bits of information gets in and which are ignored, or which information or pictures are focused on and which are forgotten. So let's play the what-if game. Here's a way that you can engage your athletes in a conversation about going back to school and their sports, identifying their problems, and then using the script below to help encourage your child to see Negative thoughts in a positive way. 1. I don't like this team. What if you did like the team? Tell me about it. What do you think you would like best about that team? 2. I'm afraid of other players because they're bigger and better. What if it were only one or two who were bigger and better? What if one or two made you feel comfortable? How would you know if you were comfortable? How would you feel around them? Three, I get anxious and upset and nervous when I'm asked to show what I can do. What if you were calm? What would that be like? How would you look or feel then? Tell me how you would walk into a practice calm and confident. Four, I don't like the coach. What if the coach liked you? How would you act if you knew he or she liked you and they really wanted to help you perform your very best? Five, I forget things. What if we prepared before you went to sleep tonight? How much more comfortable would you be when you woke up in the morning and had everything you needed for practice? 6. I can't remember all the things I'm supposed to do. What if you could clearly see the words on the page or hear the voice of the coach? How easy would it be for those words and voice to flow through your mind and you could act on them easily and effortlessly? 7. I can't fall asleep because our first game or meet is tomorrow. What if you were able to put your head on the pillow and just sleep? And as you sleep, you dreamed about doing well in that game or meet. 
What book or music or story would allow you to be calm and fall asleep like you've done in the past? Eight, I'm afraid of being cut from the team. What if you just relaxed and had fun? How much fun and easy can you make it? Imagine that right now, you having fun on the team and doing well. Nine, I don't know anyone on this team. What if we looked up which of your teammates will be on the bus and in your classes? How will you feel when you can see and talk to them outside of practice? When student athletes, young and old, find themselves in a situation, it's to their advantage to seek out a qualified learning performance specialist so that the fear surrounding sports performance is never in their future. At Philly Hypnosis Academic Performance, we help young and old learners to win the mental game. We help them make being part of a team fun and easy, turning anxiety and stress into focus, using their personal organic computer tapping into their unconscious mind, and more, all using the Stavka method. Visit Philly Hypnosis Academic Performance Psychology to see just how we can help you manage stress and anxiety. For more information on test anxiety and or our sports performance psychology to help you hit better baseballs, longer drives in golf, sinking more baskets, scoring more touchdowns in football, and more, call Todd Stavka at 1-877-557-7409 for a free half-hour consultation in one of our three offices in the Philadelphia area or work with us via our custom virtual office on the net.